Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to the Singosha Lecture Series number 86, brought to you from Live Faculty of Engineering, University Technology, Malaysia. This is Amir Zanadri Kur from the Institute of High Voltage and High Current, School of Electrical Engineering, Faculty of Engineering, UTM. First of all, I would like to thank Professor Datsu Engineer Muhammad Rafir, our Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, for excellent organizing this lecture. For your information, this single lecture series, we invited prominent professors around the globe to share the knowledge, expertise, and experience, and perhaps to exchange ideas. Hence, it gives me great pleasure to invite our speaker today, Professor Pierluigi Siano from the University of Salerno in Italy. So, for those who know, Professor Siano is a well known professor in the field of the smart grid, and he will deliver today. Uh, the lecturer in flexibility provision by the residential consumers and scalable privacy preserving distributed parallel optimization. Without any delay, I would like to invite Professor Mohamed Lafir, the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, for further introduction of our speaker. Over to you, Prof. Mohamed. Thank you, Dr. Amir Reza. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome, everyone. Welcome to our 86th UTM Engineering Distinguished Lecture Series. My name is Muhammad Rafiq, and I'm the Dean of Engineering, University Technology, Malaysia. Today, it is my utmost pleasure to welcome Professor Pierluigi Siano from the University of Salerno, Italy. A bit about our distinguished speaker today. Pierluigi Siano received the MSc degree in Electronic Engineering and the PhD degree in Information and Electrical Engineering from the University of Salerno, Italy in 2001 and 2006, respectively. He is a professor and scientific director of the Smart Grids and Smart Cities Laboratory with the Department of Management and Innovation Systems, University of Salerno. His research activities are centered on demand response, on energy management, on the integration of distributed energy resources in smart grids, on electricity markets, and on planning and management of power systems. In these research fields, he has co-authored more than 500 articles, including more than 300 international journal papers that received in Scopus more than 9,700 citations, with an NH index equal to 49. He received the award as 2019 Highly Cited Researcher by ISI Web of Science Group. He has been the chair of the IESTC on Smart Grids. He is the editor for the Power and Energy Society section of IEEE Access, IEEE Transactions on Industrial Informatics, IEEE Transactions on Industrial Electronics, Open Journal of the IEEE IES, IET Smart Grid, and IET Renewable Power Generation. So that is a brief biography of our distinguished speaker. Here now is Professor Pierluigi Siano from the University of Salerno, Italy, with a talk entitled Flexibility Provision by Residential Prosumers, a Scalable Privacy Preserving Distributed Parallel Optimization. Professor Pierluigi Siano, over to you. Good morning. Uh, Everybody, I'm um, very delighted to present this uh, keynote uh, um, to distinguish the lecture series at the University of Technology in Malaysia. Uh, I am very grateful uh, to the organizers for this invitation, in particular to Professor Rafik and Dr. Na uh, Deripur. Uh, to, today, um, I will, I'm going uh, to present the keynote uh, titled Flexibility Provision by Residential Prosume. A scalable privacy preserving uh, distributed parallel optimization. Um, now I uh, share my, uh, my screen. In this uh, presentation, after briefly introducing the procurement of flexibility resources in, in uh, uh, the ancillary uh, service market, I will talk uh, about uh, uh, an architecture for uh, uh, the large scale uh, aggregation of, of prosumers that uh, we have uh, designed and developed at the University of Salerno in the context of uh, an Italian uh, project. Uh, the architecture 
has been designed to allow an aggregator to participate in the ancillary services market for providing uh, flexibility um, um, uh, solving uh, both uh, DI and real-time optimizations in the market. Then uh, I will uh, describe an innovative uh, distributed uh, parallelized uh, linear programming based optimization uh, that uh, uh, is uh, uh, scalable and privacy preserving, allowing to deal with hundreds of thousands of prosumers without uh, disclosing uh, their information. I, I will then present uh, some results based on a, a real uh, Italian uh, pilot projects. Then, then uh, I will present some uh, findings, uh, some findings and conclusions. Uh, as uh, as known, uh, future electricity distribution grids will lose a considerable share of uh, uh, distributed and re the renewable energy sources, and uh, uh, the electric power system is undergoing a rapid transition. Uh, toward the decarbonization and decentralization. In particular, in this context, residential and commercial uh, customers, uh, once simply consumers of electricity, are now deploying distributed energy resources, becoming producers themselves in a new increasing decentralized power uh, system. In particular, uh, the flexibility offered by these new resources and technologies uh, can reduce the electricity and the infrastructure cost while uh, enabling the um, power sector uh, to meet uh, decarbonization targets. Uh, modern power systems are evolving from a centralized paradigm according to which uh, electrical energy was uh, uh, mainly generated by large power plants at the transmission level uh, to a new decentralized layer paradigm um, optimization model where uh, distributed generation uh, often based on renewable energy uh, sources uh, represents a relevant portion of the produced electric energy. In this new model, the provision of uh, ancillary services to the transmission system operator should take into account the possible flexibility furnished by new distributed resources such as dispersed and small generators also based on, rene on renewable energy sources and frequently endowed with small, ba small batteries. In particular, uh, distributed battery energy storage systems, also of, of small scale, um, uh, that were uh, mainly, mainly used to decrease the uncertainties due to renewable energy sources and to increase the energy self-consumption for the end users, can be also uh, managed to provide energy flexibility to the transmission system operator. Um, these uh, systems can uh, be directly managed by the system operator or controlled by an aggregator that can offer uh, energy flexibility in the ancillary services market. Considering this new model uh, of the model of the of the, of the modern power system, and in order to exploit the um, uh, potential energy flexibility offered by these uh, new resources, the European regulatory framework has opened uh, the ancillary services market also to distributed energy resources, including energy storage and uh, um, demand response providers. Among the distributed energy resources, battery energy storage systems uh, have gained recently more attention from many uh, scholars evaluating their involvement in the ancillary uh, services market due to their higher ramp rate and fast uh, response. Uh, the, proposed, um, the, the, um, the proposed methods uh, consider both the, um, the planning and the real-time sessions to respectively define the unit commitment and the activation of flexibility resources according to the Italian ancillary services market. Uh, considering a pay-as-bid mechanism and a settlement period of 15 minutes, an aggregator, after carrying out uh, um, a day ahead optimization based on day ahead forecast, can uh, offer services uh, of flexibility uh, both in the up or down mode during the, pl the planning session, considering uh, its, uh, its baseline uh, as a reference. If uh, the, these offers are accept, ac accepted by the system operator, then this, uh, it can ask uh, the aggregator to deliver the flexibility provision during uh, the real-time session. If the energy is not delivered, 
an imbalance cost is applied accordingly, the aggregator should carry out a real-time op optimization based on short-term forecast in order to not pay the imbalance cost. It is worth noting that in the last years, the Italian Regulatory Authority for Energy Networks and Environment implemented a new regulation that allowed aggregated distributed energy resources to participate in the market for ancillary services. Uh, um, and uh, according to this new regulation, an aggregate can be composed of uh, different types of resources, uh, including generators, loads, battery energy storage systems, electric vehicles, and so on, without any limit to the rated power of a single resource. But uh, the uh, whole aggregate must have an overall minimum uh, uh, regulating power that now is one megawatt, but uh, in the future will be, uh, will, will be uh, a lower value. Um, in, the, in order to implement the um, uh, distributed parallel optimization and help of the exchange of energy data among all consumers, uh, distributed intelligence devices um, based on information and communication technology should be uh, used. In particular, we assume that the top consumers are endowed with a home uh, device uh, gateway a smart, uh, smart metering, allowing uh, near real-time communication of the energy data flow and uh, an energy management system, which is a hardware device such as a Raspberry platform. A management system uh, platform uh, based on information communication um, technology infrastructure and software ap applications is designed uh, uh, and uh, has been designed and is required for evaluating the absorbed and injected, and injected active power for all prosumers, exchanging information uh, between prosumers uh, uh, and for managing the, the batteries. The considered large scale aggregation of prosumers can be managed by using uh, the implemented layered architecture where each uh, energy management system uh, can perform a local optimization. The layered uh, um, uh, architecture shown in this figure consists of a, a physical layer and a virtual layer where all consumers can access. The, the physical layer provides uh, um, a grid connection, smart metering, and communication to all uh, uh, prosumers. The virtual layer uh, includes uh, an energy uh, information system allowing a local uh, site awareness based on real time monitoring and on tools for the forecasting of um, photovoltaic production and uh, load uh, demand. By accessing to the virtual layer, uh, prosumers can exchange only some privacy preserving information related to their local optimal solution and their power flexibility contribution to fulfill the uh, global constraints of uh, the global optimization problem, for example, one megawatt, as it, as it will be explained in the next slides. The virtual layer is based on uh, distributed ledger technology and on smart contracts uh, to achieve both the and the real-time distributed parallel optimization while preserving the privacy of all uh, prosumers. The considered uh, approach is uh, um, based on a pilot project that we are carrying out in Italy for the procurement of uh, flexibility resources in the Italian ancillary services market. And, uh, in the DI problem, the aggregator aims at maximizing um, uh, the remuneration shown in this, uh, in this equation uh, due to the provision of energy flexibility in the ancillary services uh, market and uh, by uh, minimizing the, uh, also the operating costs for uh, pro prosumers. Uh, for uh, and now re regulation, uh, the global constraints related to the minimum uh, power uh, that uh, um, the aggregate should provide are shown in these two equations uh, um, uh, here, uh, where the uh, provided uh, flexibility is uh, uh, is related to the uh, to the baseline um, uh, of the aggregation that is calculated as the sum of the power profiles of the prosumers, considering that the batteries use a native control strategy for improving. Uh, 
self consumption. Uh, also, some local constraints are considered uh, uh, that are related, for example, to the power balance for each uh, user, uh, prosumer, to the power limits uh, uh, from a two degree uh, for the prosumers, and the, to the power charging, discharging speed of the of the of the battery. Uh, in um, if if the offer is uh, accepted by the system operator, the aggregator should guarantee the provision of uh, uh, the given amount of energy flexibility in the time range is defined by uh, some uh, discrete variables uh, that are shown uh, here to uh, uh, define the, uh, the time ranges. The real time optimization problem is obtained uh, by um, um, the day I had one by fixing these discrete variables uh, as uh, these are decided during the bed optimization uh, by the aggregator and uh, uh, subject to two, uh, these two um, equality uh, constraints that uh, um, um, are determined by the energy flexibility that has been accepted by the system operator. The same local constraints of the daylight optimization are considered also in real time optimization. And uh, uh, this optimization can be carried out, uh, for example, every 15 minutes or every uh, five minutes or uh, in, a, in, a lower, in a lower time uh, to update the control signals for the batteries and to adapt to the changes of uh, uh, photovoltaic production and uh, electrical loads of each prosumers, considering that. Uh, uh, the proposed uh, parallel optimization, as I will show uh, later, is very is very fast. The discrete variables uh, have been uh, um, identified uh, at the beginning by uh, a, in a, uh, during the day ahead in a centralized way by using a, a mixed integral linear pro linear programming optimization. Uh, but also, we tried to solve this problem in a heuristic way. By, by using a new two stage method based on hybrid variable neighboring search and the distributed parallel optimization. This is because uh, the centralized form, 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 formulation is enabled to deal with extra large instances arising from real world uh, scenarios when we can have uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands of prosumers. Uh, but uh, instead, by solving the problem in a heuristic way, we can achieve a, a distributed parallel framework in which all prosumers participate in solving the problem in a faster way, also uh, keeping their information not disclosed. The way we accomplish this mission is by breaking down the centralized problem into many linear programming formulations and solving the resulting linear programming problems in a distributed parallelized way. So, a new uh, distributed uh, optimization uh, method based on linear programming is designed that overcomes previous uh, methods based on, integ on, on integer and quadratic programming, uh, such as uh, at nothing direction method of multipliers, for example. It is the proposed method is scalable, allowing to deal with hundreds of thousands of consumers in real time. It is privacy preserving. Uh, in fact, a, a global solution can be found without uh, each, any prosumer knowing the, be the behavior or objectives or of any other ones. Uh, it can be implemented uh, by using uh, the described uh, architecture where each prosumer performs an optimization based on its specific objective uh, function. In particular, uh, about the distributed parallelized uh, uh, linear programming based al algorithm, um, the idea is that uh, of distributing uh, the right hand side of uh, uh, the um, global uh, uh, constraint. If this is uh, the optimization problem, we uh, distributed uh, um, uh, the right hand side of the global constraint among prosumers in uh, uh, such a way that uh, the minimum uh, uh, power flexibility contribution of each prosumer is determined by the energy reserve available in its battery by considering this uh, equation and to solve the this optimization problem uh, by adding this term uh, gamma multiplied by m where uh, the update of, um, uh, of, of gamma is achieved in the, in the virtual layer by smart contract. 
the basic intuition behind this uh, uh, this formula is that uh, we increase the weights uh, by a larger amount on those constraints uh, which are more violated and uh, um, now i would like to uh, at least to, to, to present some results obtained to consider the, the centralized optimization more details can be found in this uh, in this paper in particular we uh, studied a large scale a, a, a large scale aggregate uh, cons consisting of 2000 residential users all of them in, in order with a controllable photovoltaic battery system uh, provided is sized by each user according to its contractual power and energy consumption. In this figure, we can observe the uh, um, global state of, of charge uh, behavior during a, a day in uh, April, in which the, uh, the aggregate is providing uh, upregulation. In particular, in the lower part, uh, we can see the average power in a quarter of an hour re related to the photovoltaic uh, generation, the absorbed power uh, um, for the baseline uh, in the, uh, this uh, uh, dotted, dotted line, and uh, this, this marked line uh, is the uh, absorbed power in the case of up regulation. We can observe that uh, the uh, aggregate is providing up regulation from uh, um, for four consecutive hours from uh, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Um, and uh, if uh, if we if we uh, uh, look at the results over one uh, one year, um, um, here we can see the uh, mean of the daily objective function of the aggregate in in different cases during one year. And on the right hand, we can see the mean of the daily remuneration for the aggregate in the case in the in the case of up regulation and up and down regulation during one year we can see that from march to uh, september the participation of the large scale aggregated both in uh, up and down regulation and also obtaining a daily remuneration uh, that uh, is uh, higher than the daily cost um, related to the purchase of, of electricity from the network making it the objective uh, function positive. Also, um, it, um, if, if we look at the, uh, the inc increment of energy costs for euros in this, in this, in this figure, we can see that uh, in, the, in the case of, uh, of uh, from, from March to October, in the case of uh, up regulation, uh, there, are, there is no increment in the, in the cost, but while these are very, very low also in the case of up and down regulation. Moreover, moreover it is important to point out that the impact on the safe consumption from photovoltaic gener generation and also on the lifetime of the batteries is negligible. Now I will present uh, um, some results obtained uh, by using the innovative uh, scalable privacy preserving uh, um, uh, distributed uh, parallel optimization. Uh, more details can be found uh, in this uh, in this in this paper in a Tripoli access. And um, uh, in this uh, first slide, if in in this figure, we can see uh, the um, um, the average power in a quarter of an hour of the absorbed uh, power for the for the baseline, the dotted line, and in the case of up regulation. Uh, in uh, uh, June for both the uh, centralized and the distributed approach. In this case, we, we are considering an aggregate of uh, uh, 2,000 prosumers uh, that uh, uh, should satisfy the flexibility constraints of one megawatt uh, during uh, the, the whole uh, period. Uh, and uh, um, uh, we can see that, uh, that, the, um, uh, that if comparing uh, the uh, centralized with the, distribute, the parallelized the distributed optimization, we can see that they can both achieve the same flexibility in terms of delivered energy in the, in the mentioned period uh, from 2 p.m. to 6 uh, p.m., also with the same value of the objective function. Uh, if uh, we consider a day I had a forecast error of 20% for electrical load and uh, 10% of the 10% for uh, of a forecast error for photovoltaic production, uh, we can see um, the absorbed uh, powers related to the, the real time optimization in this figure. Uh, 
from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. It is worth noting that regardless of the forecast errors, uh, the parallel real-time optimization can achieve a power profile very close to that uh, accepted uh, uh, during the day ahead in the ancillary services market, uh, thus not incurring in any uh, penalty. Uh, now, uh, if we um, considering, uh, if, if we, uh, we consider the computational uh, time uh, of the um, uh, variable enabling search, parallelized linear programming based optimization, by varying the number of uh, prosumers uh, here for, from 4,000 to 40,000. Uh, 40, um, uh, we can uh, we can see that the uh, the proposed uh, the uh, method is highly scalable, allowing to deal with uh, um, also hundreds of thousands of uh, prosumers. It is also uh, worth noting that considering real time parallel optimization, computational time time varies between 13 and 25 milliseconds when considering different days during during a, a year. Now let's move to uh, let let's move to some con conclusions. I would like to highlight that uh, linear programming based uh, parallelization enables not only to perform in the in an almost real time way um, uh, the optimization for very large scale real world problems, but also to fulfill the privacy of prosumers. Both the AI and real time optimizations being highly scalable and able to protect the personal information of prosumers overcome typical uh, drawbacks of centralized methods. The proposed linear programming uh, um, uh, uh, based optimization methods can be easily coded up and implemented on microcontrollers, on microcontrollers and connected to the implemented layer the architectures. Here there is a list uh, for further selected. Uh, uh, readings uh, on this topic. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your interest and um, attention. Uh, I would like, uh, I would now be interested to hear from you with your thoughts or questions. If anyone, if anyone like uh, likes more information or has questions, please feel free to contact me by email. Thank you. So thank you so much, Professor Siano, for your amazing and interesting lecture. Uh, I believe uh, we are learned a lot from this lecture uh, to make the idea. Let me inform our viewers and audience from the Malaysia and around the world. Uh, you are welcome to post any relevant question here. I will read the question from the Facebook comment uh, for Prof. Siano. Uh, so to kick us our question answer uh, section, maybe I begin one question from me, Prof. Uh, actually, uh, in your house, uh, you install the renewable energy system such as the photovoltaic, for example, uh, in a small scale uh, generation like the five kilowatts. Uh, during the day, the system produces the energy and you can use. And my question is, uh, is it possible to attend to the electric uh, power market and sell the rest energy uh, which your system uh, produces? Uh, so, sorry. Uh, my question, yeah, my, my main question is, uh, is it possible uh, to attend to the electric power market uh, to sell the energy, the rest yes. energy which is produced at your system? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Thank you very much for your uh, interesting question. Is, uh, is right what we have, uh, we have done in our method? Uh, we are considering to use uh, uh, this uh, um, energy stored in the battery to provide some energy flexibility in the ancillary services market by using uh, um, uh, energy uh, storage systems. Um, uh, this is um, allowed uh, uh, by regulation. Uh, if users, uh, if uh, end users are aggregated by an aggregator. Um, and it is it and it, it is important also that there is some uh, um, en energy production from photovoltaic systems. 
to make a decent company uh, from an economic point of view. Yeah. Uh, of course, thank you so much. Uh, Perv, actually, in the system, we use it, uh, the off-grid and on-grid uh, renewable energy system in a PV system. Uh, can uh, you produce it, the energy and transfer to the main grid? Uh, which one is better, the off-grid system or on-grid? Maybe in the on-grid, you don't use the battery energy storage like the battery. But in the off-grid, you use it the battery. And about the security, uh, about the um, safety, which one is better? Yes, essentially uh, being connected to the power system uh, is uh, better, better in some times because in any, in, if there, there is a, any kind of a problem, you are already connected to the power system that can uh, can help you to provide energy. Uh, in some cases, uh, it is not uh, possible to be to be connected, uh, so it is preferable to be um, uh, to use uh, the energy only from uh, local sources. But uh, what is interesting for the future is the uh, building of uh, energy communities where many users uh, um, can uh, uh, produce uh, their uh, own energy without being connected to the um, to the main grid. This can be achieved uh, by uh, considering uh, the, uh, some local microgrids uh, uh, in the form of energy communities. So there are some examples in the world of uh, this kind of applications, such as, for example, the, the Brooklyn uh, microgrid, as you know. Thank you so much, Prof. Uh... Let me again welcome to all audience. Uh, uh, post any uh, relevant question here. Maybe not yet receive any question. Still waiting the question. Not question until now. Just a second waiting for the question. If not the question, maybe maybe after the day, maybe have uh, many questions. I think not yet. Okay, never mind. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, Prof. I think due to limited time, we have to finish this lecture, and uh, the viewers have more questions. Can just uh, email you later. I believe the prof you know, uh, is happy to answer the question. So, prof, it's really grateful and honor for me uh, to have the lecture today with you and believe uh, we against a lot today. Thanks again. Now Thank I you, get man. back to prof Rafi to closing remark and uh, for closing this section. Over Thank to you, you, prof Rafi. Thank you very much. Okay, I think the prof Rafi now is not available. Uh, never mind. Thank you so much, prof. Now uh, I have to close this lecture, and uh, I hope in the future have the collaboration with you and your university, My pleasure. and keep the collaboration with you. Yeah, in a smart grid. So this is the interesting topic to uh, uh, in the future, and uh, I think the a student at the university interested to go to this topic and uh, choose. Uh, as a title and uh, maybe make the idea. Thank you so much. I appreciate it and see you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.